I live about 30 minutes from the city at a surf beach and by Tasmanian standards that's a fair commute but I mean it's pretty remarkable that I can live in the bush by the beach 30 minutes from the city. As I drive home from work there's this point where I come around this sweeping bend and down a hill and this beautiful bay opens out in front of me and if I look out my window I can see the mountain sitting there and the sun often setting behind the mountain. And at that moment, my nervous system settles and I go into relax mode. I'm a marine mammal research scientist at the Australian Antarctic Division. Today we're sitting in Morrison's Hut's replica museum down on the waterfront, which is the exact replica of the hut that sits in Antarctica. I've visited Antarctica six times on the continent and floating around on research vessels. On any given day, my job can look quite different, but essentially I work with whale movement. So where whales go, what they do, how they do it. Understanding how we can protect and conserve whales by building up an understanding of their movements. If you'd like to see whales, then there are amazing boat-based tourism opportunities out of Tasman Peninsula and Bruny Island. And in May, you can see humpbacks migrating north, but in November, you can see humpbacks migrating south. And in November, humpbacks tend to travel closer to the coastline and they often have a calf in tow. So that's a fabulous time of year to be out on the water. I think Tasmania gives a tourist this really unique opportunity to completely immerse themselves in a place that's wild and magnificent. It really exposes you to how beautiful and huge nature can be. When I think about the way I feel in Antarctica, I, I often think that I feel very small. Everything around you is so grand and magnificent and you're at the mercy of the elements. It gives you the sense of respect and perspective and an understanding of living in balance with your surroundings, with the environment that you're in. And I think in Tasmania, you can harness that feeling because I get that feeling when I'm in Cradle Mountain, for example. The cold beauty of Cradle Mountain and I guess how remote it is gives you that sense, that same sense of feeling small.